today's TMJ4, this is 41 Forward. Monday is Memorial Day, a time for parades, picnics, and backyard cookouts. But how many of us will pause to remember those who gave all to protect our freedom? Today, we dedicate our show to all the men and women who died while serving our country. We begin with the death of Captain Lance Sijon and the new memorial in his honor near Mitchell International Airport. It was just a wonderful, wonderful feeling. Janine Sijon Rosina says it was refreshing to see the memorial jet in honor of her brother hoist it. The moment that aircraft was lifted, I was lifted. A dream come true as she fought nine long years to have a memorial placed in Captain Lance Sijon's honor. The public is just now beginning to understand his story and who he was, um, and it will continue. A story about a Vietnam pilot and Medal of Honor recipient who died as a prisoner of war after his plane went down during a mission in 1967. Sijon Rosina says her brother was interrogated and tortured as a POW, but he never gave any information other than his name, rank, and serial number. Um, he was always a hero to us. A hero of many facets. He was an athlete, he was a musician, he was an artist, he was a friend, he was a soldier, and he was a son. And Cy John Rosina says there's more to come in keeping her brother's legacy alive. We're, we're very um, honored that so much recognition is being given to Lance, uh, but he would be the first one to tell you that he doesn't stand alone. The memorial would not be possible without the love and support of Captain Saijon's sister, Janine, who is here with us. And we also have Captain Saijon's Air Force Academy roommate joining us this morning, Michael Smith. Before we get started, Michael, I would love to know of a fond memory you have of Saijon. <laughs> There's, there are too many of them. <laughs> okay, give me one. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's, uh, like I said, there's too many. Um, the fond memory of him is his attitude that and when I first met him, uh -huh. and we were roommates to begin the, the whole process, and we leaned on each other. He was very you know, warm, open, mm -hmm. and just just a you know, ter you know, tremendous guy. It was, so it doesn't just, surprise you to know of what he has done for no, our country? No, no, it's, it's, it doesn't at all. And I got to know his resolve and his strength, which is tremendous. Uh, during that period of time. It just is an amazing story. And yeah. Janine, you have been so involved in trying to keep his legacy alive. But tell me about this team effort, this teamwork, so many people involved, especially this Memorial Day weekend, to remember Captain Saijan. Well, yes, the, the Saijan Memorial Plaza was uh, a thought about nine years ago, <laughs> and it's been an endeavor to, um, to actually create this plaza at the, uh, at the entrance to the Mitchell Air International Airport. What a lovely introduction to people coming into Milwaukee that we honor Captain Len Saijan. Uh, the, the community of Milwaukee contractors that came in and stepped up and, and answered the call to action, um, they lined up and they said, how can we help? What can we do? And that was an amazing, amazing effort. So when I look at that plaza, I say, this is tangible evidence of what faith and stewardship can do. Mm. Uh, faith can move mountains and faith can move an F4C Phantom Jet. <laughs> but time moves on, time passes, but you, you have stayed resolved in this effort. And then this weekend to see all these people come into town because of your brother. How does that feel? Well, it, it, it's such a beautiful tribute to him that, so, that he continues to bring so many people together. He just continues to bring us all together. And what a beautiful reunion we've had with so many of his friends and, and actual uh, prisoners of war that were also in Vietnam. They've traveled across the country to have been there uh, for that dedication. And when I step back and I, I look through a different lens, uh, more than the personal loss and more what actually happened to Lance is the power of this story. The tens of thousands of people he touches and continues to touch. 50 years later, we're talking about it. Not only that, but when I read his story, I'm like, everyone needs to know his story. Mm -hmm. um, I know that you have been dedicated to teaching the children here in Milwaukee. We have the memorial that is now up here in Milwaukee as well. There's the award at the Naval Academy, but tell me, or Air Force Academy, excuse me, but tell me how you're keeping his legacy alive on the silver screen. Well, we are, we have been filming a documentary film. We have not been funded, so it is through the kindness and creativity and generosity of so many wonderful
wonderful filmmakers here in Milwaukee. They, they work all across the nation and they happen to live in Milwaukee. We have some very talented people here. And so we have uh, probably got about 45 hours of footage. Um, some people have already passed, um, mm -hmm. so some of that is just irreplaceable. And our radio partners here, WTMJ mm -hmm. Radio, helped raise, what, $30,000 recently? Well, we went over our goal. We had hoped for 30000 and we're probably at about 36000 So Gene Miller, great morning personality. People just love him. And uh, he actually approached me and said, your brother has always been a hero to me, oh. and um, we're, we're hoping to have this program around him. Michael, give me mm -hmm. a sense. When Memorial Day approaches, mm -hmm. it means so much to so many people. but. How do you remember, what do you do on Memorial Day when you think of all the men and well, even, even women who have lost their lives? Primary, uh, the primary reaction, having been to the Air Force Academy and spent time in the service before, um, and just thinking back all the memories and the people that I've known, uh, and, and particularly in the fighting side of the Air Force, um, and it's just been a, you know, and, and so many that have lost their lives. And I just want to pause yes. for a minute. I know you're making an important point, but this is a photo with you and oh. <laughs> <laughs> a little flashback there that I wanted to share. But yes. it, it shows of a different time and a right. handsome young man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and one to think about, to, to, to never lose sight of. Right, it is. And the memories and, and staying in contact with Janine and, and all of the memories and the people. It's been, it's been fantastic. Well, we thank you for your service. Well, thank we thank you, you for mm -hmm. participating in this great honor to honor your friend, your right. brother, mm -hmm. um, our hero. Mm -hmm. Thank you both for being thank here. Thank you. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Well,